Okay, how many times a week should I? Oh, shit. What I mean? No, girl. It just means he wants his cookies. Is I'm not it? wasting my time with you. Guys, there's too much stuff going on to be fighting with these men, okay? Are you serious? You have three minutes to let me go through your phone over done. Next question. Hmm. What do you do if you love a person and realize that you are being used? Do you play safe or do you leave? Girl, you leave. Play safe for what? 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 Where's the safety net? They're using you for a reason and you're not playing yourself. You're just like cheating yourself out of love. So mm -hmm. just next. There, there is no playing safe. If you're yeah. being used, it means that that person is not valuing you as a person. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing to be safe about. It, that, it ain't it. Next. And if you love them and they're using you, they don't value you. They don't love you. That means that like you deserve better than that. So uh, find someone who's gonna value you and that won't use you. Mm -hmm. Because if they're using you now, it's only gonna get worse. Because 100%. the more that you let them get away with, the more that they're gonna do to you. Yep. Mm -hmm. 100. Me. Next question. <laughs> okay. Is it right to change yourself so that your friends could accept you or feel like you belong? No, don't change yourself who you are as a person because your values and your morals are who you are as a person. So yeah. don't compromise that just to make other people happy because then you will never be happy. And I know like, we hear this all the time, you shouldn't change yourself for other people, but let me it's tell hard. you, you shouldn't change yourself for other people because once you meet the people that love you for who you are, it feels so good and you feel, you're gonna feel like you wasted all those years trying to fit in and take it from me. Like I literally spent so many of my high school days trying to fit in and especially like the school that I went to, anyways, it was messy, but now, and then finally when I broke out of my shell and I was myself, people were like, oh my God, is this how you always were? And I was like, really? Yeah. You like, just, once you just find your confidence in yourself yeah. and you just let out. I feel like everyone goes through that through high school too. Like I, I went that too. Like you hang out with a certain group of friends and you become like a chameleon and you try to like belong mm -hmm. in that group of friends. And then if you're with other people, then you adapt like that people. It's like, it's okay through house, high school to feel like you gotta adapt, but at the end, you, you'll get lost in it and you won't yeah. really try to, to like, you won't really know who you are and mm -hmm. what you like if you keep trying to change who you are. And better be alone than be with a bunch of people that you feel like you can't be yourself. It's mm -hmm. annoying and it's not worth it. You're, you're like in a shell, and you, you're kind of like fake. You're like, you're, you're just fake. Yeah. And then when you turn around, then you change person, right? So what I would do, like, like in high school, I didn't have any friends, so I, I just, well, there's a certain guys i was very dramatic and just messy in high school so like sometimes i had friends others i didn't because i was messy but when i didn't and i would ditch any, everyone and like people would get on my nerves i get like that people just after a while they just they annoy me and i can't be around them i would just go home and watch anime do i annoy you no me you're my boyfriend <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> me it's but... hard though it's definitely hard like especially in high school and like you know what they say like when you get older it does it gets better it, it, it does because mm -hmm. you, when you get older in like university and stuff you tend or like in when you go to social gatherings or like activities you trend like you tend to bond with people who have things similar in common mm -hmm. as you and in high school it's like you're almost forced to be yeah. friends with people just because they're in your class yeah. or they're in your school but once life moves on and stuff you get to be friends with people who have same things as common as you mm -hmm. so that it's a lot funner and you don't have to like change who you are and stuff and you're only going to start bonding with people who have similar Interest interests and values and morals as you right yeah so don't compromise who you are as a person it depends too if they're trying to make you do things that you're not comfortable with mm -hmm. or you know they just hang out at the cafeteria right yeah. it's, it's different you just hang out in the in the recess and lunchtime trying to grab a snack and you don't want to be alone yeah. that's different than like oh let's go do some drugs or something yeah don't know, do like, drugs yeah you won't, don't hmm. you <laughs> want, let me not get into the drug business here we go. Next. Next question. question. How do you rebuild broken trust? You forgive. It depends. It depends how it was broken too. I mean, if it was 
broken to a point and you can't forgive, you can't forget, and then sometimes you have to move on. But, but like it's if gonna you, be slow. It's gonna be very slow, step yeah. by step. I feel like if you really wanna rebuild the trust and like work on whatever the issue was, you have to hundred percent forgive the person and mm. don't bring it up. Because you can't rebuild anything if you keep going back. Because you know, like, sometimes you're mad at someone and they're like, okay, I forgive you, but it's still in the back of your mind. But no, you have to forgive. Like, mm -hmm. forget. And you don't realize, but sometimes holding something inside of you, it affects you more than other people. Mm -hmm. And once you forgive that and you truly let go of something deep down in your heart, you're, you're free. Gonna, it's, it's like you're free, right? Yeah. And like, the, the thing too, to rebuild trust, it takes two people. Mm -hmm. So like, if you're in a relationship and he did something to like forgive, like uh, for, I don't know, like to- uh, Mess it up. Break your trust, mess up your trust. He's gonna have to work on himself, right? He's gonna have to do things step by step to earn your trust. And you should communicate with him and be like, okay, you know, like I don't trust you because you did this. And then like- But if say, you cheat, leave, leave him. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we don't, we're, not even, we're not even discussing about that. We don't that. do cheaters. Well, we don't do cheaters. It just takes patience. Yeah, uh, like just, at the end of the day, it just takes patience from both people. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Does sleeping with an ex again means the two are still in love? No, girl. It just means he wants his cookies. He wants the cake and eat it too. Yeah. Cherry on top, whipped cream in the middle. Don't let him. Like, he's an ex for a reason. You never go back. But they could also be talking about let's say like they're interested in a guy or something and the guy slept with his ex one time or something and she wants to get with him she might be asking like you think she's the ex still has feelings for yeah her, bro we need so the like, background story this is too it could vague. be complicated yeah but at the end they don't don't go messing with that business yeah <laughs> unless i feel like unless listen when it comes to sleeping with someone you always have to make your intentions clear mm -hmm. me personally i would never oh especially if you have history you know if you have history I like, was gonna say I would never sleep with someone just like that. We didn't. I sleep with you. I, was, <laughs> I, I wasn't just like that, baby. That's true. He wasn't just like that. But I'm saying, but an ex. Let's say we broke yeah. up, right? I would it, never it always just. Always does more harm than good. Yeah, like I would never just sleep with you just because we would have yeah. to have a conversation before you get into that because sex is just so messy. It's gonna complicate things. Yeah, though. and you'll get that that. I was gonna say a minute, but let's be honest, it's more than the minute satisfaction. But <laughs> you're gonna get that that momentary satisfaction for just like long-term questions, right? Mm -hmm. Like if, if it could help you get closure or you need to close a chapter and whatever, do what you need to do, but don't go revisit that chapter yeah, again and again. Mm -mm. And like the thing about the two are still in love, like most of the times it's just comfort feeling. Like someone's, yeah. someone's lonely in that moment mm -hmm. and they need to feel comfort in that moment, right? And like if, if you think that the guy's trying to get back with you, if he loves you because he's sleeping with him. you, you can always tell by like the way that he does it, you know? Really? The way that someone does it, yeah. Like let's say he only wants you to come over and then you leave, you know? If he only texts you at like, a late night, you know, like a booty call kind of mm -hmm. thing. Like girls should know, like, and get the hints. There's small hints that they'll do that, like, it's a booty call thing. You know, like, really? they, like they won't take you out of a restaurant public and then drop you mm -hmm. home. That's it. They're always trying to get more. Like, you know, they'll they'll act like you owe them more or mm -hmm. something, or like, you know, they'll they'll only go to your house, Netflix and chill. But you know, I mean, it's kind of hard with the lockdown there. Like, yeah. Let's get serious. But <laughs> you know, what I mean, there's always those little signs. Where, like, you know, am I just that, or is this gonna be more? Mm -hmm. I tell by his past, too, what kind of kind of stuff he did in the past. Mm. All right, my boyfriend's cousin tried it on with me. Do I tell him or do I just ignore it? Tell him, girl. Might as well. You got what? nothing to lose. Me. Oh, boyfriend's cousin. It's just like if Nicola oh. tried the moves on me. Would you? Do I tell you or oh, just let it? Yeah. Let it be? Is that even a question? Blabby. Okay. Don't make me. Guys, you gotta get one thing straight. <laughs> any any question is like, should I? The answer is usually yes. yes. You know what I mean? Like, should I tell? Whenever it comes down to communication, the answer is gonna be yes. Like most of the time, whenever it's like, should we talk about this or should I talk or tell him something? You know yes. what I like? It's most of the times, 95% of the time, it's yes. Whatever that talk is, most of the times it builds trust. It builds a better bond, a better oh, communication. Reach it, man. Okay. Is it normal for your boyfriend or husband to lock his phone and not show you the password or pattern? Hmm. <clears throat> have you talked to him? Like, have do you, you do that? told him? 
girl. Ask yourself, would you do that? If so, why? But basically, Sis. what you should do There's is, something is, wrong is ask him. Be like, yo, what's your password? Or like, if his phone's on the counter, take his phone. And be like, what's his like? What's your password? Let me see what's what what's yeah. going on. What's like, going on? Sorry. You see? Ah! You see that? What's going on? No, no, girl. But what ah! I would do, look, if the phone's there, you pick it up. Be like, yo, what's your what's your password? Yeah, let's see. And then if he's like, he's like, I'm not telling you, and then grabs the phone away. Then be start like, to be worried. No, but I'm be you know, like, you know what? It could have been like there's this. no, there's a problem here. You don't want me to go through your phone? Are you serious? You have three minutes to let me go through your phone, or we're done. It's I'm not right. wasting my time with you, guys. There's too much stuff going on to be fighting with these men. Okay, if he doesn't take you seriously, to the left. Okay, so what were you gonna say? <laughs> Okay, then <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what I would do is that you go step by step process, right? So like, you know, he, he might not even do it by, by purpose. He might just be like, it's just like a nature, like a second nature or a force of habit that he's doing, right? So test him, test him, you know, mm -hmm. pick it up, be like, yo, what's your password? And then, you know, if he's like, oh, I don't want to tell you, grabs the phone away. Then you're just like, well, then you, you go to NACA solution right there. But you know, if he just, oh, if it's just like seven, six, five, six, two. Then you're like, oh, okay, boom, boom, boom. Then there's nothing to worry about, right? Or if he's just like, oh, it's up, down, whatever, pattern, sound, hmm. something. Nothing to worry about. But if he doesn't want to tell you, then be And how long it. have you guys been together? That's another thing, too. Yeah. If it's the first date, I mean, yeah. different story than you've been yeah, with yeah, him for a year. But she said boyfriend, so. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. How many times a week should I work out? Hmm. That's a good question. It's all dependent on your goals. What kind of goals do you want yeah. to achieve? How fast do you want to achieve them? What your diet's like? How fast can you recover? Like everyone's different, right? Some people, like myself, I, I, I'll go to the gym. You're advanced. Like seven days a week or six days a week. But I didn't mm. always start like that, right? Yeah, when I first started out, I used to go like twice, mm. two, three times a week. It, it depends where you go. Obviously, most different. of the times, it's like anything in life where you put in more work, mm -hmm. you'll get more results. Exactly. So, like minimum, you said okay. So minimum, what I would say, depending on your training program, the best optimal performance is to hit every single body part twice a week. So hypertrophy for the body, the muscle to recover and get perfect, you know, protein synthesis and recovery is usually twice a week is optimal mm -hmm. but you know like it's say that you go so that's why you, you can be flexible right if you don't have a lot of time you could go to the gym twice a week and hit every single body part once per workout mm -hmm. and then you hit it twice a week right mm -hmm. but if you go let's say five times a week then you can split it up mm -hmm. you can do like upper body then lower body you know so you split it up that way guys yeah and it's really fun whenever you know you hit your, you see your body changing, you know? Mm -hmm. I was gonna have a couple snacks, but then we just did a TikTok and I looked so cute. I was like, you know what, girl? I'm gonna drink some tea because I'm looking mighty fine. So just hang in there, girl, and just listen to your body. When I first started out, I could only do two times a week because mm -hmm. I was so sore and I needed to sleep, mm -hmm. remember? If you're sore oh. diet, you just eat more protein. And yeah. then you protein is gonna help your body recover faster. Mm -hmm. So general answer, how many times workout? A good you know point general would probably be like three to five times per week. Mm -hmm. Five on the higher end for more you know. Advanced. The longer you train, the more that your body needs stimulant. Yeah. You know you have to have progressive overload do more and more over time. Mm -hmm. So you can start like two or three, then slowly go up. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Hmm. Oh shit. What me? I made an OnlyFans, should I tell my boyfriend? Okay, I might be like a little dinosaur or something, but I'm not too sure what the OnlyFans thing is. Like, I've, I've heard about it often. Yeah. But it, is it like a stripper porno sexual thing? No, or so like... I'm not too sure what it is, but I think that it's not just that. Obviously, if you're a stripper, whatever, you can do they that. Use that. But there's also people that make it for their toes, their eyebrows, their fingernails, their mm. tongue. So it's just like people have weird fetishes and they go on there to feed off of that, right? So it doesn't have to be sexual or anything. So, um, so it doesn't have to be fetish, it doesn't have to be sexual. It no. Their own thing. Some people make it, like, they I make see. it for their kids, me. Really? Yeah, which is weird. There's some scandals on That's there. Kind of weird. Yeah. Okay, in this moment, I think this situation is sexual. Yeah, obviously. We're gonna answer it in that context. Um, 
Definitely. I mean, guys, it goes back to like what I said a couple minutes ago. He's gonna Ninety-five percent of the time, if it's a should I tell him, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. And imagine if you make an OnlyFans and then like you blow up, and then he's online one day like talking to his boys and they're like, "Yo, isn't this?" Uh, yeah, that would be so game? awkward. Like, let's say he's hanging out with his friends and he finds out that way. Or, I mean, maybe go do one with you. Who knows? Yeah, I would just tell him, like, yeah, I made on OnlyFans. Are you going to pay my bills? No? Okay. It's it's a job. It's work, you it know? It is what it we, is. We need that money. If he has a problem with it, are you paying my bills? Are you paying my telephone bills? Are you paying my automobiles? I don't think you do. So, keep your comments to yourself. Thanks. Did you have it before meeting him or did you meet him while meeting him? Did you make it while It meeting don't him? matter. Yeah, tell, tell him, him. I have an OnlyFans. If you have a problem with that, the door is right there. If you don't, okay. If you have a problem with that, pay my bills. If you can't. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and show it and ask him. Yeah, you know? exactly. If let's say that he, he doesn't like that you do something, you could like change something you wear on the OnlyFans. For something. what? Oh, is he changing it, his job? No. Yeah, no, you gotta respect, you know, you gotta make sacrifices and compromise in a relationship. So, okay. but if you start to lose the dough, then he gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know, like, obviously, it's, you just gotta talk about it, guys. I don't know, I wouldn't compromise my income for a little boyfriend. So, if he has a problem with it, and if, what if it's your husband? No, she said boyfriend, maybe. Yeah, but he might become the husband. Okay, but he's not the husband right now. Until There's a lot then, of things to take into account. Until right? then, girl, do you. Make your money. Make your money. It is what it is. If he... Pay my bills. That's it. We'll make an OnlyFans video. A hundred percent. Sorry, I already have one. Me too. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> Advice on how to slide into the DMs. I never know how to start a conversation with the guys. I've hey. never sent DMs, so I, I don't really know. Let me tell you, I used to slide in guys' DM all the time in high school, and they always answer back. The thing with these boys, especially at school, you don't talk to them, and then when you slide in their boyfriend, in their, no, sorry, right. in their DMs, oh my god, they see you in a different light. But just be like, spit their yeah, just be like, hey, what's up, with a smiley face. That's it. Yeah, you have nothing, it's, there's no complicated answer. Yeah, like, just start chemistry with the guy, you know? Anything. And he's gonna be like, not much, you, not much, just chilling. And then yeah. after M -M that, M -M -G -C. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then after the not, when you say not much, just chilling. If he's interested, he keep it going. Yeah. But if it's dead, then it's, it's it, if, like, yeah. Oh. Even if he's not interested, he'll probably answer it like out of respect yeah. or whatever. But you can tell by the, if the conversation yeah. starts to flow or like if he's you know trying to gauge interest or like trying to further the conversation. Yeah, I did that, and then. I did that one time and the boy that I was messaging, he was so shook. He's like, oh, you're into me? I was like, yeah, I'm trying to get to know you. <laughs> but yeah, so just just say, hey, what's up? Just, just find something too. Let's say that he posts a, a picture or snap or something. You can just DM him about something about that picture. Yeah, reply to the story. Yeah, reply. You, let's say that he's showing stuff. You could be like, okay, oh, I see you. I see your new shoes or something. Mm -hmm. Or I see you, you just copped them fresh Nikes, you know, or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, or like, or like, gives a haircut. You know, he posts a snap. You'd be like, okay, I see you with the fresh fade, something like that. You Girls know? don't say that. Oh, they do, I guess. Well, I'm just saying, like, anything like, about his you appearance. Look so cute. Yeah. I like your new haircut. Yes. Yeah. Oh, obviously, like, right. like the girl version of what I'm saying. I'm just yeah. saying. The be basic, flirtatious. You know? Yeah. Not like yeah. fresh cut. Or, you know what? I'm trying to be a bro. They know what I mean. They know what I mean. Okay. You could just pull like, like the typical line. You know, just like message him, hey big head, or hey you, that's it, that's it. Yeah, and just do it. And then just see. And they'll know what's up when don't, you say don't hey know. you. Don't, don't know. No, but that's embarrassing because if you say that and then you see them at school and they weren't into you, just say hey, what's up. That's it. That's the same thing. Hey big head, mate. That's like, hey big head, you're putting yourself out there. Really? Yeah, that's so what obvious. It, what does that mean? That's like you're flirting like, hey. Yeah, but she, I mean, you slide in the end. No, but way. if you say, just, you can recover from it if you, if you see that, you know, he wasn't into them. Uh, like, guys don't really care. Like, I, oh, really? I, you know, see, like, me and my friends have, like, just not respond. But if we would see the person, and we've seen them in real life, it's it's no big deal. Like, it's so embarrassing, me. No. No? Okay. They just move on. Oh, okay. That's true. At least you know he wasn't into you. And you're, you're done wasting your time. Right? Yeah. Girl, send hey, big head. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, I guess that depends on your intentions too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, okay, anyways, last question of the night. Let's get into it. Okay. Before this vlog's three hours long. <laughs> okay, Naka, what is the most effective way to get over stalking a guy? Oh, wait. What? Oh my god, hey, big head. <laughs> messing up my fumes. Okay, Naka, what is the most effective way to get over a guy and stop stalking him on social media? Block him. Girl, you block him. Just block Trust him. Trust me. Block. Blo blocking? You block them. That's it. End of story. That's it. You just block them. There's no other answer. And then tell them. your friends too. Like, don't Every, Everyone let me... block them. All your friends yeah, block them. Yeah, don't. The worst. The worst. I hate. When you're trying to get over someone and your friends, they send you a screenshot of that person and what they're up to. Oh my God, did you see what they're doing? Look at this. That used to happen to me all the time. Guys. So you know what I did? I blocked those friends too. <laughs> block. Block them all. Block them. Go on a block fest. That's it. Like you just need to block them. They broke your heart. They don't deserve you. Trust me, it's hard, but you gotta do it. And I went through so many heartaches, so many guys treating me like trash, but look at me now. <laughs> talk, so, talk to other guys. Yeah. You're trying to get over someone, just, just talk. And you know the typical saying, put yourself out there, going mm -hmm. out with friends and stuff. And you yeah. don't have to do anything crazy, but just, you know, open the discussion. With That's what people. I would do, guys. Like whenever Keep I would occupied. be, yeah, I'd be broken hearted over one guy. Girl, I'm telling you right now, talk to a bunch of guys. You're you, gonna get over you it. You know what helped me? But 2021, I don't give advice on telling people talk to multiple guys anymore. We left that in the past. Focus on yourself, mm -hmm. on building yourself up. You don't need to keep busy with talking to a bunch of guys. You're gonna break your heart anyways. It's not <laughs> worth it. We don't do that anymore, okay? 2021, we are new, improved. We okay, focus okay. on ourselves. You don't need a man out there. You don't need these F boys. Unless he's a good guy. <laughs> and he treats you right. But if he's not, girl, you don't need that. Focus on yourself. 2021, we don't have time to be texting these boys. Nah, nah, giving yourself headache, balding because of them. Crying and No. Be the best you possible. Be the best you can. Positivity. Focus on you. Do your Chloe things. Do your sit-ups, abs, crunches hip-hop abs like typo girl like focus on you okay we're done with boys in 2021 we're focusing on ourselves unless he's a nice guy and he treats you right okay for me what helped me in the past it was just to get you know lost in, in the gym get lost mm -hmm. in the weights you know and you know there's a saying in, in the gym in the fitness it's like a 45 pound will always be a 45 pound it's mm -hmm. never gonna let you down you know, so you can go like for me, it was it was like the gym, the fitness, right? So find something that, you know, you can kind of just get lost into it, a passion, a hobby, whatever. And just work on that. Yeah, and it's Keep 20. Busy. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that was the video. Hopefully you enjoyed our advice and hopefully we were able to help you guys out. If you take our advice, it's on you, girl. OK, it's Do on you, boo -boo. it's on you. We're not. Don't hold us accountable. <laughs> okay. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and if for hanging out far. with us, guys. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video. Smash like button, comment, subscribe. Talk to you soon. Toodaloo. Bye.